quitting van life after only one year. Here's why. We're gonna talk about why I'm quitting van life, what's next for me, what's next for my channel, what's my next vehicle, all of the things. So let's start with my reasoning for getting into van life. So the whole reason I got into van life in the first place, because I didn't want to live with my dad anymore. I wanted to live on my own. And at that time, I was not in a situation where I could afford a house. So a van was my alternative. Okay, I should not be recording while I'm driving right now now but I'm driving my new van for the first time you can't even see me right now but there's the biggest smile on my freaking face <laughs> You know, I figured I can gain my independence, do my thing, live on my own, and I did that. You know, I want to preface that and say that van life has taught me more independence, more of who I am as a person. It has opened new friendships for me. It has really, really set a solid foundation for the rest of my life. That sounds crazy and corny, but I, it really has. So why am I quitting? Some of you may know this, some of you may not, but my entire family is on the east coast and when it comes to van life you're mostly going to be out west just because they have a lot more public lands and free camping whereas the east coast is very anti-van life shall we say so it's really hard to do it over here and i found that being out west i really felt very isolated and i missed my family a lot and i do have a boyfriend who is also here in virginia and we have been together for it's coming up on six years now so we made the long distance work. It really wasn't that hard for us because we both were in a growing phases of our life. It was like, all right, you're working on yourself and growing. I'm working on myself and growing. We're both really just doing our own things. But now it's gotten to a point where we're like, okay, we're ready to come together again. So my family and my boyfriend are my biggest reason for quitting van life. My next reason is I am outdoorsy, but not that kind of outdoorsy. I enjoy my time outside. I love nature and I'm an occasional hiker. I am not a let's hike 20 miles a day kind of gal. So with that being said, I feel like van life was not aligning with my hobbies. I'm more of like Ooh, let's go prance around the garden and read a book versus hiking, biking, rock climbing. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's two different vibes. This is a hard one to talk about because on one side, it's really not that bad and on the other side, it really is. So for me, I do, like I said, I enjoy myself the little occasional hike, but I never wanted to hike or anything in the van because I didn't want to get sweaty because I can't not have a full shower while I'm sweaty. Yes, I can do the outdoor setup shower. Yes, I can wipe myself off, but I feel like it's just not the same as a solid deep in there shower, if you know what I mean. And I like to get that solid deep in there shower after I've been sweaty. And toilet. You know what? I'm gonna be the one to say it. I'm gonna do it. Doing number two in a bag is not glamorous. It's not fun. It smells bad. I said what I said, period. Ah, they don't tell you this. Yeah, you need to go number two in a bag and throw it away literally immediately. I mean, you can also dig a hole outside, but like most of the West Coast is desert, so you can't do number two in a hole in the desert because the ground won't break it up. I'm getting very deep and far into this when I don't need to be. The next one is that van life has become so flipping popular that it's really hard to find a campsite where you are alone. Like anytime I would go someplace, it looked like there were there was nobody around, but I'm telling you, there was hella people around all the time. I was never really alone. I just got the good angles on video. It's crazy how many people are out there doing this. Anytime you go to a campsite, you have to cross your fingers it is not packed with people and if it is you gotta really double cross your fingers that you will find a spot my first like car trip was in my mazda 3 like three or four years ago and it was not like that at all i am a creature of routine of habit i need that type of stability in my life and in the van it is not existent so it was really hurting my little brain mental health not having a steady routine day to day it was really hurting my mental health now the things i will say about van life is i had no issue living in 50 square feet yeah living in this space in a small area not the issue it was 
all those things I it was all those things I mentioned before. And another thing that I realized about myself was something I truly loved about van life was building the van. The build of it all. Ooh, let me tell you, I was thriving during that period of time. I loved it. Working with my hands, constructing all of this. It was chef's kiss period of time for me. I really miss that as well, that creative outlet of making stuff. And I think that was also another huge draw of van life to me was getting to build it out. You know what I mean? I just want to say that I am forever grateful, thankful, blessed to have had this time of my life. Like, I do not even want to downplay how amazing of a time it has been. It is just that doing this full time is not for me. It really does put a lot of stress on your mind, especially if you're doing this alone. Okay, so what's next for me? Well, just thinking about it makes me so excited and ah, I'm so fortunate. I cannot even begin to tell you. My boyfriend and I bought a property. Yee! It is close to both of our families. It's got the acreage. It is beautiful. It's got an extra building for him. It's got all of the things and it's relatively close to his job and it is in a super duper rural area. So Oh my gosh, we are through the moon. We are so lucky that we were able to get this property. It is perfect and it is a big project that I'm going to be taking on all by myself because my boyfriend does work a full-time job and he has spent years perfecting, learning, and getting really good at his craft. He does body work on cars and he is extremely talented at it and makes an amazing living doing it. I have no words for how grateful I am for what a hard worker he really is. So what is next for my channel? We are going to be diving into renovation projects. We're going to be diving into renovations. I really want to get to a place where we are self-sustained on that property so i'm going to be working on that as well and it's going to be like kind of off-grid living there is one more thing about the future of my channel that i wanted to acknowledge because i feel like some of you may have noticed now that i have a house payment along with all of these projects i want to accomplish i am going to be taking on more sponsorships and those sponsorships really are going to be allowing me to continue making these videos so please bear with me and just, I just wanted to lay it out there as it is. So that is the future of the channel. I am not going to stop making videos. We are here to stay everybody. What is my car? What, what do I drive around now? I picked up a little 2010 Prius. It was actually my brother's car. So yeah, if you have any more questions, just drop them in the comment section and I will get back to you. Thank you for being here on my van life voyage, but it has sadly come to an end. <laughs> Check it out for today. I will see you in the next video. Thank you for being here. I love you so much. You don't even understand. <laughs>